In this session, we'll process a single stand cruise using T-Cruise Pro. Here are the basic steps. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to connect our handheld to our computer so we can transfer the field data. We're going to open Windows Mobile Device Center on our computer and when the program is open, we're going to make sure our handheld is powered on and we're going to plug in our cable and we'll wait for the prompt to connect. Okay, when you see this window, we'll choose connect without setting up your device. Okay, from here, we'll choose file management and browse the contents of your device. Okay, the next window right here shows this is the, the memory storage on your handheld device. We're going to double click on that and we're going to go to the My Documents folder. Okay, your cruise data will either be stored directly in the My Documents folder or it could be in the T-Cruise CE folder, depending on where the field user chose to put it. I'm going to open up the T-Cruise CE folder and the two tracks I'm interested in, or the two files I'm interested in, I should say, are the Smith track right here. And I'm going to click on these. I'm going to choose Copy. And then I'm going to go back to my uh, desktop machine and I'm going to go back to uh, my documents folder on my desktop machine. I'm going to scroll down until I find the T-Cruise PC folder and because these are TCE files they are going to go into the TCE docs template folder. Once I've got that open I may choose to create a subfolder in here with the name of the cruise. So I'm going to call this one Smith Track and I'll open it up. I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste and now both of my files have been stored here and I'm ready to open up T-Cruise and process. Okay, at this point I'm just going to minimize Windows Explorer and Windows Mobile Device Center and I'm going to launch T-Cruise. When the program opens I'm going to choose no initial action and hit OK. Next I'm going to load my template. So I'm going to hit the load TCT button on the workup toolbar. Okay. Next I'm going to open up. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to find my, um, my template and I'm going to hit open. Once the template is loaded you will see it uh, identified at the very top of the screen. Okay. I'm going to press the TCE button on the workup toolbar. And I'm going to navigate to the folder where I stored the, the files from the Smith track. Okay, I'll choose the first one and I'll hit open. If you see a message about browsing for embedded uh, TCT or TCD, just say no. Okay, next message, make sure the specified, uh, make sure you specify the correct tracked acres, species codes, and other settings. I'll hit OK to that. Now, if you only had one file to import, you could go ahead and proceed to the track info. In this exercise, let's just say I've got another um, uh, TCE file from another user. So I'm going to hit the Import TCE button again. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to grab the other file. Okay, so I'll grab the second Smith track TCE file and I'm going to hit Open. I'll get a warning that the plot data is going to be appended and I'm going to hit OK to that. Okay, next step is going to be to track, go to track info. Here I'll hit the field date button. I'll type in the actual tracked acres. Let's say that it was 25 acres. And this is a Smith track, so I'm just going to type in Smith track. And I'll hit OK right here. Okay, the next uh, buttons on the workup toolbar, these are some optional steps. Print tree data, that'll print a um, print your tree data out to the screen or you can save it to Excel. Uh, new plot would allow you to add a new, uh, a new cruise plot. Maybe you had to paper tally something, you could hand enter it here. If you wanted to edit a plot, you can click here and you can go in and you can edit any of your plots that were collected. Um, but what we really need to do now is we're going to hit Run by Group and this is going to prompt us to save our, our changes and save this cruise to a TCD file which is called a T-Cruise document. So I'm going to hit Run by Groups. It's going to give me the uh, 
message about you must save your document to disk to prevent data loss. I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to give this file a name. Call it the Smith Track. And I'm going to make sure that I type in the .tcd extension. That's very important. If you don't do that, you may not be able to find this file the next time you try to go back and open it. Um, because it will be missing the TCD file and it could miss it. Okay, so I'm going to hit save right here and then it's going to prompt me for my reports. Now the first run through I would recommend that you just hit cancel uh, on the uh, on the reporting and then um, just in case you've got errors like we have here and um, it tells us that errors were detected in the input and let's review those errors and make changes. So I'm going to hit OK. Now TCruise is going to tell me where those errors occurred. So um, the first was not enough sample heights for species group miscellaneous hardwood. Okay, there may not be anything I can do about that one. But the next one here is plot 16, page 1, record 9, assignment of a tree to a product class higher than its default. Okay, so I'm going to click on this error right here, and it's going to bring up the, um, uh, the tree data in question. So it's plot 16, and this is going to be record 9. So I'm going to come down here. And I'm going to see that I've got a 12 inch, I mean, I've got an 11 inch tree that I assigned to can for. When um, my merchandising specs um, for this template say that salt timber can't begin until the 12 inch class. So, what I'll do is I'll downgrade this to chip and saw to get rid of that error. I'll hit OK to that. And then the next one is plot 16, page 1, record 8. The merch height. Uh, HM is less than 8 for a savage type species. Okay, so what that means is I've got a merch height in for a, um, a species that's, that is assigned to a savage function or a merch height function that's less than 8. So let's, let's click on it and see what's going on. Okay, so tree record number 8. Okay, I got a miscellaneous hardwood, 12 inches, and I've got it assigned to pulpwood, and there's a missing height right here. So um, with a savage type species, you, you have to have a height for every tree, um, being that this is miscellaneous hardwood. So I'm just going to put in uh, 30 feet. We'll let that go as my height. I'll hit OK here, and then I'm going to run by group again, and I'm going to hit cancel here on the reporting, and I just wanted to check and be sure there was no more errors. Okay, now at this point, I'm going to hit run by group one more time, and it's going to bring up this dialog box for the reports to for me to select. So I'd recommend that you do uh, primary report group, all groups, uh, dual reporting, grouping A, alternate file name. This will allow you to type in a name for the Excel report that's going to be created. All right, the default name is going to be the same name as the uh, TCD file. So by default, it's going to name the Smith track. But if you wanted to give it a different name, uh, you could type that name in in this field right here. Okay, the board foot log rule. You've got choices between International Doyle and Scribner. We'll just leave it on Doyle for now. Cubic foot measurement for any reports that use cubic feet. You've got a choice between inside or outside bark. Okay, weight units, we're going to choose tons, but you do have an option for cords. Uh, statistics target unit, we're going to choose total tons. Okay, uh, for our statistical reports, we're going to choose 95% confidence with 10% allowable error. Okay. Uh, for exports, we're going to choose no database export, and we don't have any need for the stratum reassignment. Okay, so let's look at the available reports. Um, for a, a basic cruise, I would just recommend that you turn on. Uh, I'm going to turn everything off now, but I'm going to I'm going to go through these and and show the ones that are, are probably the most maybe the most interesting to you or most useful to you. I'm going to do the cruise info and stats. I'll do the um, stand class group product and maybe the stand class group product dbh that that h is cut off right there okay and then uh, maybe statistics if you want to see something like that you could turn on the um, stand statistics okay and let's do a quick run hit okay right there obviously the more reports that you turn on the longer the processing time so i recommend that you um, just choose a few reports getting started Find out which ones you like, and then uh, turn those on. And TCruise will remember uh, which reports you used the last time, and those reports will already be checked the next time you run run it in that dialog box. Okay, so now that the cruise is processed, we'll come down and I'll click on the uh, Excel down here that's flashing, and I'm going to maximize this. 
and the first report is the cruise info and stats it just tells us how many how many plots we had that were usable average tons per acre upper and lower bound on the mean standard deviation standard error and coefficient of variation this is a sample size estimate this 93 represents that uh, the number of samples needed to be within 10 percent allowable error at 95 percent confidence um, the last row right here is the um, in gray tells us that there would be 25 plots needed if we wanted to be within 20 percent of the true sample mean at 95 percent confidence 93 to be within 10 percent and uh, 366 plots to be within 5 percent okay the next thing we'll do is we'll go to stand statistics if you're interested in any, any of the uh, statistical measurements for uh, by species and product you can look here and we'll scroll down um, you'll see that the for all groups this this last row right here uh, closely corresponds to what we have on the cruise info and stats okay next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the stand class group product DBH report and here's in the header just tells you what what track or stand it was um, and we'll go we can scroll down by by species for pine it's going to show us uh, by product stand totals per acre totals average tree and average heights now um, the average heights in case you're wondering this HM measurement here is the average total height for each uh, diameter class HP would be the average height to the pulpwood top HS is the average height to the saw log top okay so we'll scroll down and you'll see that we've got pulpwood chip and saw camphor wood and baxley wood Okay, then we'll see miscellaneous pine, what we had in there. And then we've got miscellaneous hardwood. And then we've got everything combined at the bottom. Okay, so this is a summary by class group product DBH. Here's a summary by class group product uh, that has the heights left off. It's a little more streamlined report, basically the same format. Okay. At this point, you can take these and print them out. You can. This is already saved. If you made any changes, you could just hit the save button again to um, uh, save the uh, other changes. And when you're done, you can just close out. And then we're back at the main T Cruise screen. And if you're done with the cruise, you can file exit out. Uh, if you want to go back and run some other scenarios, you can go back to your specs and prices and uh, change top diameter specs, DBH specs and rerun the cruise uh, to get other scenarios. Okay, hope this helps.